Hi everybody, welcome back to All in a Row. Sarah, Cody here. Today we're gonna to be mixing up some of Cody's special potting mix that we use in our own garden and in all the plants we sell. So, figured he might give us a little bit of information on what all goes into the mix and what it's good for. Dave, take it away. Thank you. All right, so I've got some topsoil. You don't need expensive topsoil. I've got some uh, black cow manure, blood meal, bone meal, and uh, I got my bag of perlite over here. And kind of go based on what the plant needs. If it's something like lettuce, the nitrogen helps more. That's your blood meal. If it needs other things like a plant above ground, say as tomatoes and stuff like that, bone meal. Don't overkill it. But at the same time, you can get a little bit in. It'll tell you on the back of the bag what the percent is, and you don't want to overfeed your plant. You want to feed your plant, but you don't want to overfeed. So, what I have found is one bag of topsoil. Oh, yep. There we go. All right, 40 pounds. And it's wet. All right, so. This is going in my container. And then step two happens. So now I've got a bunch of dirt. Big old jar of dirt. Big jar of dirt. So after that, what I'm gonna do, spread it out obviously. Man, that's warm. Take some perlite. What's that good for? Huh? What's that good for? Perlite helps with drainage. It makes sure that you don't suffer from uh, root rot. Vermiculite's also a good option as well. Okay, so that's about how much I have in here for one bag of dirt. Perlite's not expensive. And then... An eight quart bag can run us about $15 from Amazon. You can find it pretty much any store that carries gardening supplies though. Seed starting no matter what. Bone meals, a necessity for fast growth. So, one bag of dirt. Smells like fish. As you can tell, we're real exact with our measurements around here. Um, uh, if you're six foot tall and you have hands like mine, two handfuls. And then with the um, bone meal, which looks way different than the last bone meal I got, same deal. Basically, this is going to give your plants the nutrients that they need in order to start out healthy and thrive from there. That's correct. If you can save them from all the pests. So, and then you go over and you get the big yellow bag. And this is probably one of the most important parts. This is a manure slash compost and it's a good product. I used it last year, it worked very well. And then we'll just get to work on it. Um, where's the, um, you got it? Okay. So 
to throw about a half a bag of that in there. Because it is composted, it doesn't smell nearly as bad as you would expect manure to smell. We're yeah. in here on an enclosed porch, and I can stand it. So that says something. Yeah, it's the fish fertilizer you got to worry about. And I'm sure uh, my wife would agree that that stuff does not smell great. You're a tool doctor. <laughs> I, uh, am I a plant doctor? All right. If the shoe fits. If the shoe fits. So what you're going to do, get this going. And these totes you can get from Home Depot, Walmart, wherever. I'd get a sturdy one because this is probably 70, 80 pounds of stuff. And you get it all mixed up nice. And once you get it all mixed up, you figure out if you need more perlite or not. If it doesn't look like the potting mix you get from the store, like your Miracle Bro and whatever other brands there are, if it doesn't look like that, you probably need some. So. Right now, I'm sitting at this, and I need to put some more perlite in it. What this is is an economical way to have better, top, better soil for your plants than you're going to get out of the bag from a regular old potting mix, but at a better price. And also, not just that, if you live in a very wet climate, or with clay soil, which unfortunately we have both, um, you gotta have drainage. And that's where this helps. That's what perlite specializes in. Allowing water to get through. Whereas clay does not. Um, perlite will try and combat that a little bit. But every little bit helps when you're dealing with clay soil. All right. And I had a piece of cow poo. Ooh. Catch. I'm joking. <laughs> so somewhere along these lines is what it should look like. And by the time you're ready preparing your soil, and this is what I use. And this is how I get plants that look like that. And uh, the ones back there that are huge, which also are for sale. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basics. There's how you do it. Um, it works for me. It might work for you. Some people use Coco Coir, but I've found that Coco Coir is uh, prone to mold, mildew, and stuff like that. So I tend to not lean that way anymore. Just uh, if you're if you're going to grow indoors, make sure you got a fan on. Keep everything aerated. And it'll get get the humidity down. And, uh, anything right. you want to say? Well, that is how we mix up dirt in this house. <laughs> thanks for thanks for watching, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and hit that subscribe button to see more videos with tips from him and jokes from me. Y'all have a wonderful night. Come back and see us.